It's time for you to watch. It's your favorite show, after all. You're watching the show that takes you two solid hours into the future of new music video. 120 minutes on MTV. Under the 120 X-ray tonight, word up from Paul Kelly and the Messengers. And with me in the studio tonight, one of Manhattan's most celebrated cannibals, the luscious Tamajanowitz. Plus latest video action from Yellow, the go-betweens, the new order, Brando's, also a cult classic from The Cure, and world premiere video from Public Image Limited. First, though, did you see a Peter Zaremba hosting the Cutting Edge Happy Hour tonight? Well, here he comes again in a new Flesh Tones video. It was I Was a Teenage Zombie. It's on right after this. We're the bad brains. Use your gray matter. Watch the show that really matters. 120 minutes on MTV. Easy now. Seen? Yeah. Hi, I'm Tamara Janowitz. This is 120 minutes on MTV. Right now, a cult classic from The Cure, Boys Don't Cry. By New Order, you're watching 120 minutes. I'm Kevin Seal, and I'm standing next to Tama Janowitz, and we're gonna, we're gonna rap a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Tama. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Oh. Uh, I haven't read your new book yet. I've been so busy, I hadn't had a chance to take a look at uh, Cannibal Manhattan. What's it about? Well, this is a book about a cannibal from, um, like, a very primitive island, which is fictitious. And an American heiress um, saw his picture on the cover of National Geographic, and she fell in love with him. So she went there, and she got him, and she brought him back here. But then the cannibal um, was taken on an American barbecue picnic at a garbage dump, and um, um, he accidentally ate his wife. Ouch. Oh, so this is this is like pretty much about like the uh, the downtown art set. Uh, <laughs> it's not about the downtown art set, but it's just a sad and funny book about you know a man that ate his wife by accident because well he thought New York was a civilized place and that he'd get civilized here, but see he got set up by the drug dealers because she was involved with drugs and it was sort of a tragedy, Kevin. It's, it sounds very tragic. Is it intended to be a, a metaphor? Does this extend to our society in general? Well, well, I don't know if it extends to our society in general, but it's very funny and it has photographs because many people would like to look at some pictures too and um, um, well, it's what about the dinner scene? Does it have a picture of that? Oh, I don't want to know. Well, it has a, a barbecue says. grill with some things left on it. <laughs> you, uh, you found some bands that, that play the same kind of, that, that play songs about the kind of things you write about? Well, it seems that um, um, they're the people that are watching 120 Minutes are also the people interested in buying the books because the music seems to have some connection with it. I mean, I just came back from traveling around the country and wherever I went, there was people that came to the book signings that sure looked like they watched MTV. <laughs> there we go. Well, oh, thanks. And they're, they're interested in the new Cannibal book. Well, uh, thank you very much. We'll be talking again later. Where from the Stranglers. Uh, you know, some people thought Always the Sun was just a newspaper commercial. But then some people think 120 Minutes is just a video show. Howdy, we're back in 120 minutes. I'm Kevin Seal. This is Tama Janowitz, the renowned author. <laughs> New York has pretty much been grist for your literary mill. Uh, what's uh, what are some impressions of the city? Well, I just I just moved back here, you know, and now I have sort of a bad situation because I have fleas, and um, kind of hard to talk out here, but. My dogs went away on a vacation, and they left a lot of fleas behind them. And I don't know if you've ever had fleas, but, um, well, I could show you some little bites. But you sort of feel like you're losing your mind because you know something is wrong, and, and you can't really figure it out. But what it is, it's that you have fleas in your rug that come to you at night, let's say. Yeah. And they actually feed off your body. Well. Not by accident, either. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, and um, um, I'm living in the bottom floor of this apartment, and it has, like, some types of insects that came in from the street. And, you know, New York is not an easy place to live, but it is good for material. 
Yeah, and uh, insects, too. Yeah. So your books say, now, some people, I would not be among them, but have been uh, compared to, like, uh, uh, Brett Easton Ellis and, and uh, McInerney and stuff like that. Do you have reactions there? Well, I think the main thing is that maybe we're not writing about the same thing, but we do seem to be appealing to the same type of people, and um, um, I think people maybe that don't usually buy books, like myself, like would buy this book because it's just like funny and it's about things that people who aren't dead are interested in. <laughs> people who aren't dead. Uh, there's something that you wrote about uh, uh, stepping on people to get power. You write books about people who step on people to get power. So is it, what, what about a time that you stepped on somebody to get to get power? Share an anecdote. Oh, I'm really the person that gets stepped on, you see, but then they stepped on me, they still wouldn't get any power. I mean, I'm the type of person when I tried to cross the street and a man was preventing me from standing on the curb, so he grabbed my arm and pulled me onto the curb and I said, oh, thank you, even though he was the one that was preventing me from getting run over. And so then he looked at me and he went like this, hello, hello, anybody home? And I'd already thanked him. I mean, he was the one that almost got me killed in the first place. So then a woman behind him said, um, um, these people don't know how to cross the street these days. And he said, what do you want? She's a nut. She's a nut. And I just, you know, I got so angry, but I couldn't say to him, hey, leave me alone, because he might have taken out a gun and shot me after that. You're so right. Yeah. Yeah. You want to introduce the next video? Yeah, well, the next video is um, Tom Waits, and um, I, I think, you know, he's the type of person that might sometimes have fleas, but one thing you can do is um, use Hearts Mountain Spray for dogs and put it on your legs. And the song that's coming up is um, Blow, Wind, Blow, Wind, Blow. <laughs> Kevin Seal with you for the second 60 of 120 minutes. Coming up on the 120 X-ray, Paul Kelly and the Messengers, and an in-depth review of the Smith Swan Song LP, and more confessions of a bohemian author from my co-host tonight, Tama Janowitz. All this and the latest video action from Dead Milkmen, Royal Court of China, Icicle Works, the Brandos, and this one from Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. And I came across... The I'm Janowitz, and I'm delighted to be here on 120 Minutes. So I want to say thanks to David Kendall. And David, if you have fleas, the Hearts Mountain Flea and Tick Spray really will do the trick. Just put it all over the floor, and I think you'll find the fleas are gone. That was It's Immaterial and Driving Away from Home. After the break, the Stranglers, big in America. Is that petrol motion doing big decision? Tama, do you think that politics and music mix well? Kevin, you got me down here on the sidewalk, and I'd have to stand up to think of the answer to that question. I tell you what mixes books and watching 120 minutes. Books and watching 120 minutes. Good luck with uh, Cannibal Manhattan, Tama. Thanks for stopping by and sitting on the ground with us. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just uh, after this, uh, 120 comes back, and we go off to Australia with Paul Kelly and the Messengers. Uh, hi, I'm Paul Kelly. On behalf of myself and the Messengers, I'd like to tell you that you're watching 120 minutes on MTV.